I've got, I've got art to do this, so we'll do it, right? We have Shanks versus King Pong. It had to be oh, done. Does you you're getting better at this every week? <laughs> every week. The lungs, the lungs are expanding. We're every getting week. there. We're getting. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. It is time for game number one of this main car. Shout to Easy Man for the raids. Merci la famille. It is time, game number one, Shanks going to open up and always, that's what I say every single time I watch Shanks and when you guys watch Shanks, watch how he handles Labcode 21, watch how he plays, he doesn't really uh, force interactions because he knows he's, she's the one who initiates, he just like play around them and usually does it really well, it's pretty much like the masterclass of how to play against her. Yeah, he's really good at like, he's like a judo expert when it comes to games he lets you think that you've got the advantage you overextend and he uses your power against you so there we go punishing the spin keeping them in the corner extension with the janimbra assist and that is going to be 21 out of here no experiments for you to do today back to the lab with you but unlike what we saw on the cards we have gogeta instead of ui so let's see what he brings out with this character and why he didn't go for ui i thought ui might be okay in this matchup but maybe he's just opting for damage and the kind of win con right uh, he always swaps the win cons. yeah he always swaps. so win cons might be there it's the left or right well he cannot kill anyway if he gets the mix uh, if you get the, the ex mix sorry but if you get the empty jump mix you have enough to kill that's a bit of uh, the one you have to remember i think that's part of the thing right when there is a mix you need to figure out like how What's the best hit he could get? In this case, the best hit would be an empty low on Insta Dash and not the cross up. And that's when you try to uh, make it work. Yes. Uh, hello? Yes. Buffer Geo? Yes. <laughs> yes, you fool. <laughs> he just JK'd. He just <laughs> kicked him out of the end. <laughs> I can't. We are rolling down. Good challenge by Shanks gonna go for the mix and another empty low straight to the spark just to nullify the spark recovery this man is on a mission listen combo breaker is in a week and a half and honestly C4 watching Shanks these days I would not be surprised if Shanks takes like combo breaker it's like I know we have there's Yasha there's Wawa there's Nitro everyone's gonna be there but Shanks is on something these days man yeah uh, grinding shanks like batman shanks when he's got prep time when he's like proper going in is, is devastating and we haven't seen this for a while because the last time we kind of saw it, it was regionals but that's when he moved from stick to pad so he had not just him learning this team which he's playing now he had to use a completely different weaponry when it comes to fighting games so now he's had some you know he's had some time with the pad i can't tell the difference he is definitely playing ridiculous. That team is starting really to uh, mesh well with his playstyle. We've seen doing, oh my god, that being said, no one is safe from 5LL. Not even El Padre. Very fair and honest damage coming. And oh, I thought he would go for a debuff there on that place, Vegeta, but he's not. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, I'm not too sure. Maybe there's like a two touch he was looking for if he kept the bar and didn't spend it. But. Honestly, against Shanks, yeah, you you take the debuff, hundred percent, because you know nine times out of ten he's gonna be he's gonna clap you back <laughs> and reset you in the most extravagant fashion. Man like Shanks, picking up where he left off, taking out twenty one, and again people stuck him. in a very peculiar situation. Labcoat is banned. Yep, Labcoat is actually banned. Shanks is doing the job <laughs> for this. Has been working, and now it's got to block. Ah, the backdash, of course, is gonna get caught by the 5LL there, and very uh, big damage coming up from the absolutely illegal starter. Ping Pong getting some momentum, and it's level 3. Nice. The hardest of knockdowns, two bars. Yeah, Shanks, you know, he is a fan of neutral, he's a fan of his own pressure, not staying underneath it. People's elbow into Dragon Rush, good tech from Man Like Ping Pong, does it interrupt Ooh. the incoming? You know what? It's blue, but the damage is still true. Ah, uh, unfortunately, hits on decay. Stopped him from doing anything, and Shanks not blocking the overhead follower on this one. For those of you who are wondering, you know, how do I get better at what at blocking, you know, the second breaker from Rogita? I usually tell people just jump back. 
Because mm. jumping back actually blo blocks both, avoids the command grab, but loses to 5H. Right? And usually speaking, jump back until your opponent will 5H, 5H, and then you can start and try to like, actually react to it. Right. Oh, I'm reacting to this damage and it's not a good look. I'm glad the camera's not on me. Oh, is he going to vanish and extend? Oh, no, he can just kill with supers. All right. Yeah, he could actually have back. done uh, like more more damage. I mean, less bar needed for this. He didn't go mm -hmm. for like the hardest uh, combo. But you know what? The most optimal combo is the one that kills. Facts. Actual factuals. And yeah, Shanks, like you said, getting ready for combo breaker. Doesn't need to do anything unnecessary when it comes to combos. If he can kill with the bar. He's only got one character left. Catch him. Double reflecting. Guess reflect the number one killer in Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Gets a knockdown. Can't get a level three. And Ping Pong escapes the corner. So he's somewhat got a chance here because he's still got Spark. Yeah. It's Vegito with Spark. It's uh, doable. But for now, nothing is allowed. Shanks putting in work. Extending as much as he can. And that should be more than enough. Get the kill. Level three. Final Kamehameha. Finishing it. And that's going to be Tunial. For the champion shanks as dominant as ever yeah you, you can definitely see the difference between when shanks is uncomfortable maybe with a character or how someone's playing and then when he gets like one character gone he's like okay now i can kind of take more uh advantage when i'm moving forward because he's always got that cell uh assist working out for him perfectly i've never seen someone utilize it so well like shanks he's always using it like some sort of like frame trap after a Vegeta movement, like whether it be Rocket Kick or Knee Drop, it's really sick. Yeah. Right, mix, this one's gonna be blocked, the 6M is gonna be blocked again, and that cell is just taking some time right now. Back to full screen. And that was the good reaction though by Ping Pong. I think Ping Pong has probably seen that Shanks tends to not initiate anything against Slab Code because he waits for you to spin. So he's been trying to spin a bit less, do it on reaction, it's been working, but that's Android 21. He's already close to the end. Yeah, I think you're 100% right. And if Ping Pong does acknowledge that and he starts being passive, Shanks is going to go, oh, okay, cool. You're not going to spin. I guess you're just a regular character until I get debuffed, right? But we're going to get sparking loops. Nice. Get as much damage as you can. Get all that potential meat again. Almost five bars. No, oh. I lied. It was five bars, but he couldn't cash out. No. The bank teller said, not today. Come back on a weekday. Yep. Oh, guess the vanish against this. The spin is going to be blocked. And now it's a bit more vanish on vanish again. Thankfully for him, Shanks did not hold that vanish, but Vegito is going to pick him up, and that should be enough this time to get the kill. That vanish looks like Ping Pong was not sure which combo to go for, so just went for the one that it was. Makes sense, makes sense. It looked like he was kind of freestyling it a little bit at the end, thinking, oh, can I kill without bar? Opts to go for a vanish and does get the, the character out of here. Three characters to two. The first time Pong has been at an advantage. Only on half health, though, and against Ooh. base Young, he's definitely young. He's young. Debuff this time. This one actually happening. You're not going for a region. Just there. And there we go. Debuff there. It's time to use my production value to put an arrow next to Vegeta. So you can, I see it. So we can it's remember. Sick. That is there, but the thing is, it is my brain, man. I don't like using my brain like this. I want Arc Systems to actually put this in the game. But that might just be a Vegeta out. And no need for me to track that mm -hmm. debuff anymore. Vegeta out. It's Chenemba alone now. Good game by Ping Pong so far. There's a reason a lot of people don't play Ginyu, man. Remembering is hard. Too much, man. You need to tell us. Because I'm a dev, Ooh. you know, like that's what I do. I make sure people can use my stuff. <laughs> there we go. Debuff. Chenemba has the arrow and gets the opening. Oh no, no conversion. Ooh. No. Oh my gosh. Up back, full in M. Hell's Gate. Oh no, he drops the combo, but Hell's Gate's still there. The mask is ascribing. Ooh, he could have done Hell's Gate into teleport as well, but I don't think he was ready for this one. But that's okay because he's still keeping the pressure on. And Janemba waiting. Right now, no 2H on that risky super dash. Of course, Janemba can air 2H this, but he's going to get the one. And that is a dead Andre 21. But you know what? Still debuffed because that's the rules. <laughs> that is the rules. You can't fight reality. You cannot escape from crossing fate. Now he's got to go against two fusions. So G up for G O, different color hair, but neither of them care. Nice, vanishes away. Oh, and he's chasing him down. Ooh. The super that same side. Actually, get the extension there. Might go for the solo. One, yes, you can see the. Oh, nope. 
for two of the like I said, upon this, but just decides to go for level 3 and put him into the corner. And Shanks, slowly but surely, uh, trying to be in the situation where Janemba actually excels, because... I know there is a lot of talk. Oh my god, that's gonna be it. No. I know there is a yeah, lot of yeah. talk about Janemba being an amazing anchor, which he is. But one of the issues of Janemba as an anchor is that he's a defensive anchor. Mm -hmm. Right? He's great at stopping you from doing stuff. But if you don't do anything, he needs to take the risk. Ping Pong has given that Janemba a ton of opportunities, and the Juanemba is currently on his way to do the comeback. The whiff punish was there, but no conversion. <laughs> Gosh. Damn, Vegeta not winning the trade. Oh no, he was too close for the IED, the L, and then the second L was too far. Janemba still like, get oh, that, down. That, that, there we go. Level 4, that's dead, right? Extension, it should be. Yeah, level 4. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you don't even need level 4. Well, Ping Pong secured a game that is more than Falzar did last week. As Ping Pong gets out of a potential coffin there. Mm -hmm. Great match for him against Shanks, yeah. but the comeback was really close. Janemba being debuffed kind of helped him, of course, but... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I don't want to be uh, doing Never Give Up, man. Why would I do a Never Give Up here? Oh, Ping Pong is trying not to give up. Yeah. He's trying not to give up. And he done pretty well, like you said. He had a good advantage at the start, even with Janemba debuffed. And the debuff, I think, might have made a big difference. But nice anti-air grab to close it out. Uh, and that's got to be a confidence boost, just getting, like, one game over Shanks. Because, like you said, on one so far, not many people can say that yeah. <laughs> because of how Falzar fell yesterday, uh, last week, sorry. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not an uh, easy thing to go for. Shanks, who's uh, looking kind of ridiculous there. Oh my god, another 2H. And I must say, we've seen a lot of ping pong over the last few weeks. His 2Hs are on point. Young. He's young. He has to be. The reactions like that. Debuff. And you are debuffed. There we go. Base Vegeta struggling now. Damn. And Bay Fujita said he's got no time for weak sayings and he got debuffed. That's irony. Yeah. Like, oh, try being weak yourself. He's just <laughs> holding the tail right now. Be like, yeah, fight now. Fight back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You're going to have to fight back against this Pog. Find the urge to not spark. But I mean, no one's blocked it so far. Ah, he's 100% on this. Of course, there was no left right possible because not enough bars or assists to get the roll. This time when I go for a simple staircase and straight to the spark, decides to not take. Yeah, I like the decision here from Shanks. Obviously taking very minimal damage, but this is the worst thing about playing against 21. Yeah, you don't take the damage, but now you don't do damage. Was it worth it? We'll find out. Oh, no. Ooh. So, Ping Pong gets the conversion. Good opportunity to uh, debuff that cell. We already have Vegeta debuffed, so... I'm yeah. not sure. I am not... I am uh, hmm. puzzled as to some of Ping Pong's decisions in combo. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he feels he gets better, like, pressure mid-screen? I'm not sure why he would think that. Uh, but yeah, he's decided not to keep the corner. Oops. And he's decided not to watch his back. Back scratches in the building. Dirty mix, man. Shanks just... I don't know how Shanks has been so consistent with that. Goodbye. Let's go. Wait, is Cell already debuffed? Yep. He is, right? Yep, he is debuffed. Ah, forgot to put the arrow. See, chat is not helping me on production. One man cannot chat. do a... <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. Popo says, until today, I still don't know how to block that mix-up. It's simple, Popo. You pick, you pick the right direction. That's it. You pick a direction and hope that it's the right one. That's how it mm. works. You put a finger on the direction and the other one points to the skies. Asking for any deity to give you the strength <laughs> to block. Do it now, everyone. Finger to the skies. Oh, no, oh, he got no. spark as well. All right, can you actually kill? Because you get an extension, your cell is debuffed, but you're going to build a billion meter with these loops. And he's got two assists. And yep, that should be more. No! <gasps> we lied, we lied, oh, we lied, we lied. I think he was waiting for base Vegeta to come at last minute and it didn't happen. Oh my god. Shanks out there. 3-1! That was absolutely clean. Mr. Bo saying I'm guessing wrong to me every single time. Well, yes, you are. <laughs> but I think it's because the guess is between like, like mid, low, other side low. Potential Dragon Rush as well to remember it. So you, you have about like maybe, a, if you purely guess, you have maybe a 25% success rate. <laughs> 
bro. It's a, it's a four-dimensional mix. By the way, chat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Z4. I forgot chat. Today's Mr. Poopoo's birthday. You guys can send a happy birthday. Man, like Mr. Poopoo. In a few years, I will be able to open him up. He will be old enough to get opened up by my mix. So I hope I'm going to have to wish him a lot of happy birthdays to open him up. Happy birthday, man, like Poopoo. Yeah. We need you to, uh, we need age. We need Kronos. We've got a time to equalize the playing field against Mr. Popo, man. <laughs> man likes to say Han was good, man. Happy birthday. Looking forward Soon to, uh, to the day. With this. <laughs> Looking forward to the day uh, I can super dash you. <laughs> <laughs> Same time super dash, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh. Wait. Selby is so oh. good, man. Bruh. Selby is so underrated. Yep. Yep. I'm telling you, man. The legacy of RMZ. Oh, nice dash under, though. Yeah. All right, can we get a party started? I don't think he's got any levels up on his Gogeta, though. Which is unfortunate. And looking at the damage, it might be debuff as well. Let's go. Send the man down, double dash, and straight to the spot. Kind of spark there doesn't want to uh, deal with any of the... Pre oh, no. I think he was mashing DP. That's kind of the guy happens mm. when you mash DP and, and there's a gap that's too small for the DP to come out. Possibly. Damn, Cell was getting kind of punched up. Man was getting boxed. But he escaped. Oh, you're not getting... I think he wasn't ready for the hit. Oh, here we go. He gets rid of base for GR. Are you going to bring him for GR? Are you going to keep him go GR? Ah, I thought he would. Mm. I thought he would go for a Z chance or something, but uh, not there. A bleeding Gogeta. He loses the clash, but no conversion. Oh my god. The classic. Oh, 2-2-S. Two, two I've got one as well, Gogeta. Mine's a bit different though. So actual fun <laughs> fact with that 2-2-S, two, two uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. If you use your counter on the 2-2-S, two, two because the key blast, it will just whiff on you and you will punish the recovery from Genember. Oh really? But, but this requires you to use your brain, which, which Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta players don't do. The shade. Which is unfortunate. Feels bad. Oh! Oh my gosh! Haram Man hit with a gamba. <laughs> Haram this is still... I like it. This is still doable. King Kong. Unless. Oh my. Bro, how many times has uh, Shanks hit someone with like an up back falling butt? He is so good at doing that. Finding yeah. the gap. And it's very hard to hit him low. And that's obviously how you beat someone holding that back, right? Yeah. You just like stagger low. But Shanks always seems to, or even stagger a mid to hit him out of the jump frames. But Shanks is so good at finding opportunities to up back, seeing you overextend and go, this fallen barn's going to clap you. Yeah. As, as someone who's a terrible bad habit in the game is to up back for no reason. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to take notes on, uh, on how Shanks does it while staying safe, while making it work. It is 4-1. For the current champion, looking good. Ping Pong trying to put up a fight, but we mentioned it earlier, right? But that uh, that Andrew 21 is not doing much. Oh, unless. She's a, yeah, she's returned to Spain. So now she's not too oh bad. My. Oh my gosh, Spain, please. Esports. Esports. Los Yo, Deportes in Electrónicos. Investments. This is an argument for not having free to play fine games. <laughs> Imagine having this character for no money. This is it, buff all of the population. Hey, that's actually a great marketing claw, you know? Like, you give them the absolute number one character in the game, they all think they're sick and the game's sick, so they buy all the other characters, and then you nerf the character. True, the long con. This, is, like this is the longest con. But that would work. <laughs> Easy money, guys. Well, you're gonna have to nuke the bots and uh, pass that on to... <laughs> So something like EA Sports or something. Let them know the market play. Let's go. EA fighting <laughs> games. We need to uh, we need to ascend in the market. Oh, the rawest of tags. Yep. He should get wall to wall here if he's got the extensions with Cell. Whoa! Nice one. I, think, I really like uh, the way Shanks plays mid screen as well. Like with his three characters, he has something to. Try and limit the, the little guessing game on Wake Up. That's uh, the one I like from him. The Vanish, but the great pickup. Good one Ins from Ping Pong. Insane awareness by Ping Pong, right? Like, that was a split second to go. Oh, you dropped your combo, you vanished. Oh, no. Now you're just self. No more perfection. 
don't think he can kill especially if he doesn't finish the combo it's all right it happens don't worry one more hit oh, one more trip to spain wow hit stun please it's not gonna be that much damage though because i tell he's debuffed so we're just gonna send Genemba in go down into level three so that is not the full 50 50 uh, range but you can still get a solid left right from this decides to wait gets beaten by the spark and the empty vanish gonna beat that Genemba. Yeah, very good. Nice stuff. It's a classic, right? If you empty vanish or if you've got spark and you empty vanish on a grab, you can normally just punish really well. 50% and a debuff. Can't really ask for more than that. Oh my gosh. Reflex are running riot. 2 H blocked in the air. Oh, that's a that's an illegal starter. It is, but he's debuffed, so it's it's, it's just gonna be normal. It's gonna be legal damage on this. But he's dead and he puts the only character who is not debuffed in smart one from the uh, shanks pretty much the only one who can easily one touch that uh super saiyan for gogeta as well shanks mm -hmm. looking for the damage but gets opened up yep that should be a brown bread on cell oh, oh no. no he didn't actually kill him oh well uh, just like that ping pong ensures the only characters remaining on shanks side are the ones who are debuffed Genemba and cell we need to put some more pressure on this there are six dragon balls available but it's party time first it is get the confetti out do you snap i don't think it's worth it at the moment that blue health is coming back pretty fast on cell and i think anchor janimba has been given not just ping pong but everyone else prior the most problems so let's see if ping pong can finish this combo no combo needs you please get janimba out of here and let's let's find out if shanks is a one-trick pony and he can make these comebacks with cell as well with cell and a debuff cell which means he will need like three openings on vegeto mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah and like potentially two openings on that super sign for Gogeta. It's definitely looking difficult, especially when you have an assist that has one billion hit stun. He's gonna be rough. He does somehow escape with the GRA assist for now. Solar, Kamehameha wave. He doesn't get the mix on this distance, I don't believe. You but get the kind of the high be. Yeah, oh, there we go. You get kind of low. like, you know, a light mix, but we take those and now, you're gonna need two or even three touches to kill that Vegeta. That is the first. Yo, he bare all and dashed up to S. He really thought that Shanks was gonna back away, maybe. But Shanks has got nothing to lose right now, right? He's got debuff, sell. He's got a bag of meter, spends it here. Time to guess. guess Why am I saying guess? It's time course. to accept. Yeah. <laughs> it's not mixed, it's an exception. <laughs> The maths are broken Press with one this. If you got hit. Oh, great tech! Can he finish the comeback with a debuff cell? Vanish to get away. You can feel the panic, and he got hit by the classic C4. I don't know why. All of us collectively in this game, all of us, we're so scared of Vegito that we are back. But that's the worst thing to do. It's like Vegito. Same for we don't see that many Z Broly in Europe these days, right? But mm -hmm. same thing. We are so scared of these characters that we naturally default to double jump back, which pretty much means, hey Vegito, like snatch me, man, put me down, take me, take me, yeah. And it was I think it was the same situation from last time as well. It's like he got a raw vanish, and normally what everyone does is like, okay, you hit me with a vanish, we go back to neutral, I'll up back after this, and like you said. We all do it. We all tap into our lizard brain when we get hit by a stray hit and just go to up back. Uh, so yeah, ping pong, getting two on the board. So no vacations. We're not going to uh, the home of Gold Lewis. And we're yeah. not going to the home of Sue Kashuga. Okay. I pressed the wrong button as well. I had to put a plus one on Shanks. It's of course for you guys. Shanks in the meantime, making sure that Lapco 21 is banned. Let's go. Yep, out once again. But still got Spark and got some pretty good fusions on his team. Still think it's doable. Ooh. Good trade. Oh, and the reflects. But that's anti reflect. I'm actually not sure. Shanks has been determined to press buttons and to do stuff in the middle of these records. Yeah, the only thing you can think of is obviously like Fujita's got those kind of like teleport moves, right? So heavy arrow kick and heavy knees. Maybe he's trying to use that to escape, but there's no escape in this character. EX Larry, 236 heavy attack button. Put him in the corner, level three. The hearts of knockdowns. He's only got one assist though and his own cooldown. So let's see what he does with this. Decides to wait and potentially bait the spark. 
And this time, no button press. But, a good conversion is there. I think Pong, he's got an assist. He's not gonna be able to build the bar. But I think that's enough to kill regardless. No, hit stun decay stops him. I don't think that was yeah. the right combo anyway. Yeah, I think JS into uh, overhead yeah. might have been enough. Yeah. I'm not sure though. Into the oh, H1, H1 I think, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, in the meantime, there's a mixtape to play. But he could just U2S us into Spark. Oh my gosh, gosh, look at me. Look at me as I'm doing this damage. Snap. Yeah, yeah. bringing the perfect one. Kill the cockroach. There we go. Overhead. Overhead. We're seeing uh, quite yeah. a few moments where Ping Pong does not go for them. It's really like optimal damage, optimal combo rather. Uh, probably a bit of pressure, of course. Remember, this is his first time in the main card. And he's doing quite well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's got strengths as Spark. Can't deal with the overheads. Chases him after his own Spark. What a insane Dragon Rush. What an insane Dragon Rush. After a stand out. Okay. Maybe Ping Pong is fanned out. But you know what? Shanks. Shanks is a good player, but he's still a player. He's standing up just like everyone else in this building. Yeah. Is that gonna kill? Because this does not fully free the time. Hey, it does not. <gasps> oh. Check the flag. Shanks, El Vigilante de España. You've got to respect the flag. No. Oh my God, what is happening? Did he miss Gallic? I think he missed Gallic on, right? I think so. I'm not sure that was a reflect. I think he missed two one for us. Oh, he yeah, you might be right. Pick up. Yeah, yeah, that makes way more sense. That makes way more sense, yeah. Oh, he might regret that. Oh, we've got to bring in the blue one. We've got to be bringing in the blue yeah. one. Look at that blue high. Get him out. Get him out. Oh, no. <gasps> well, he decides to go for the better mix. Uh, which I understand, but if he does not land that mix... Oh, there we go. Nope, okay. you're still there. You're still in. Can this kill Genemba since there is very low scaling? Yes, it does. It's a one-touch on both sides. Ping pong turn up. I think Shanks is going to have to be looking for. Oh, he, he does go for the assist straight away. He wants the pressure. He looks in five. Hey. He, you know what? He dipped his toe in that pool one too many times. <laughs> the piranhas got him. He's like, stop doing these overheads. I've got two H, my guy. He wish for playing the mask because he survives. If he does come back, no, 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 no. No way. Oh, I can't lie. This is looking long because Shine into the mix. I don't think you can two touch unless you have a medium starter. Can you actually two touch there? Uh, he's close enough to the corner. He's gonna extend. Is he, he getting that bar? <gasps> he's he did he does. That was at the last moment the bar was built and Shanks saves the day, saves the game, and gets the five two. I was I was already ready to put a four three man. That was sick. Pixel. Pixel of health. That, that's got to do so much mental damage, man. That's twice that's happened. Oh my gosh. But that's why, that's why Shanks is like one of the best players we have, man. His composure, his, his will to be like, you know what? My health bar is kind of irrelevant. As long as I'm still in the game, as long as I'm still alive, I can do this. And it's, it's a very hard concept or like mentality to have in high pressure situations. Oh. The empty jump low completely uh, stops that UA from existing and gets the mix this time. There we go. Extending into the corner. How much damage are you going to go for on this? And more importantly, what is the mix? Sinead, high low. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we floating? Are we just going to do with knee drop? Oh, that was the anti. That's so sad. Yeah. Alexa, play, play this pasito, please. This time, this time to, oh to bask in sadness right now. Because he went for the spark bait, but he did it slightly too early, so he was a bit too high. Doing the right thing at the wrong time. And being a oh. bit too high is exactly when you should listen to this Pasito, not any other time. Mm -hmm. And yep, King Kong's ah. gonna lose his Vegito after Shanks shows his weave off. The extensions were good. Enough damage, gets a meter on the way as well. And Ping Pong back in the situation, but this time having a lab coat in the back instead of a fusion. So let's see if this makes a difference, right? Having this spin, having this Spain in the back is definitely going to make Shanks think twice about certain interruptions. All right, let's see. That should be a debuff. There we go. Cell now debuffed. And you put Gogeta 4 for the mix behind. Ping Pong looking to quickly get momentum back, but the mix is not going to end. I think that's been a big difference in these two. Shanks has been hitting most of his mixes after level 3. 
I don't think any of Ping Pong's mixes landed after that. Yeah, I think it's, it comes back to something you were talking about earlier about kind of blocking what what attack can kill you, right? So a lot of people like block glow because they're scared of the 2M and kind of allow themselves to get hit by overheads. But like Shanks is like, I know you need big damage, so I'm just going to block the star that will lead to you making a comeback. Yeah, I agree. And very smart from Shanks there. Gonna go for the mix and again, the mix with base Vegeta is going to land. Gonna go for loops. Three, four, down into the shi not the Shine, but the Genenda. Yep. Him the the glass. Oh, no teleport. So basically, the issue of the teleport, right, is Q2S. Q2S with Vegeta, with Gogeta does not care about the side. Right. So if you decide to just not respect your opponent, you can Q2S and they're the ones who have to respect it. So is it really worth it to do a mix where you have to respect the opponent? No, mix by default is disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at that point it becomes a community Yeah. It's, it's both of our mix. Am I going to do this on my wake up? Then it's not really your your advantage, right? So, <gasps> bruh. Freezing the nose code. I want to add the, you know the old uh, the old MLG uh, crosshair, with the yeah. sound with the with the, you know that little. We need sound, it. We need it. We need it. <laughs> <laughs> the silencer. The silence code. But uh, you, you guys know what sound I'm talking about. You can you can hear the, the little. That's the one I want. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sick. Dev stream in, incoming, yeah. Dev, Dev stream soon. My, my, oh. Ugh. Well, we take those. That is six to two. Shanks is offering himself a ton of match points to stay the champion. Ping Pong might decide to change teams there. Let's see mm. what's he gonna pick up because that's the last team change he can do. Yeah, he might bet on the team he's got in the cards. I mean, I don't think there's a problem with his UI. I think his UI is really good. Maybe he feels, you know, it's not gonna work against Shanks, but at this time. You've got nothing to lose, right? Yeah. Uh, you could try it. You've got your two game, so you're not going on holiday. Uh, but let's see. He doesn't. Same uh, team, he does. but points. He just changed the yes. points. Uh, Android 21 is now points. Gogeta is mid. He wants to apply the debuff as early as possible. It is the first match point for Shanks. Ping Pong, we did five games in a row against the champ. We win today. Great use of the barrier. I mean, if he keeps doing stuff like that, oh no, combo Nisha, not that. Don't do that bit. Do the barrier into spin. That, that was going to get you wins. Speaking of spin, the cockroach is going to put you down. Hasn't got the bar for the level three. Reflect and another people's elbow. He should be able to finish off this scientist. I'm going back to the two fusions. So this is game number nine. And this is game number nine. And I think Android 21 has been a factor in like two games maximum. Mm. Yeah. That's that is mastery from Shanks. Yep. Yeah, I think the debuffs haven't actually been a factor. Oh my Hello? Wait, what year are we in? The time? No. Oh, oh, oh no, the classic. That was the, the two the two touch of death. It's a, it's a well known yeah. it's a well known tech. Uh, yeah, I remember I remember seeing on Reddit like oh someone posted like a TOD with a reset in it. It was like, yeah, yeah, yeah this is always gonna kill because you know. Yeah. Look at the damage. Yeah, the, the, the TTOD guy. Did you, didn't you know? Did you guys know about the TTOD? Two touch of death is a thing. Top of the star. Top. All right. Mix. There is a spark. No bait on the spark. There is still a chance for. Oh, and uses the invincible level one. Of course, he's just gonna be to gain some momentum and wait for that spark to run out. Ping Pong looking absolutely long for him right now. He's still blocking, but Shanks staggering and waiting. He's not gonna be able to kill, but that should more or less eliminate that spark. It's looking long for man. Man. It's so insane that even though he's in sparks, he's under pressure. Shanks is looking like a crouching geef right now, rushing him down. And he can't get out. He's not been able to use his spark. Oh, the blocks, though. Mix. Oh my god, he blocked both the mixes, but he got opened up by the low right after. And that is going to be Shanks confirming his third win in a row as the wanted champion. 7 to 2.
It is that time. Mais oui, mais oui, really be like oui. that sometimes.